NVIDIA massive GPUs supply is bringing GPU prices down. Welcome to the Product Review Hub. There's some good news for graphics card buyers. NVIDIA says its increased investments in manufacturing should boost GPU supplies throughout the year. While revenue was gated by supply, we anticipate improving capacity in coming quarters, which should allow us to serve with significant customer demands we're seeing, NVIDIA CFO Colette Cress said during a Wednesday earnings call. NVIDIA CEO Jansen Huang added, We expanded our supply chain footprint significantly this year to prepare us for both increased supply base and supply availability in each one of the quarters going forward, but also in preparation of some really exciting product launches. The upcoming launches will likely include the RTX 4000 series, next-generation desktop graphics cards set to replace the current RTX 3000 lineup. Expect NVIDIA to announce the new GPUs later this year, likely around September. In the meantime, the company has been pouring billions into shoring up GPU manufacturing, which NVIDIA has said should lead to substantially better supplies during this year's second half. But before you celebrate, the improved inventories may not necessarily translate into an easier time buying a PC graphics card. The other problem facing the market is inflated pricing for GPUs. Even normal retail pricing for NVIDIA's RTX 3000 cards have gone up over the past year due to the high demand thanks in part to the cryptocurrency miners. At the same time, scalpers and bots continue to snap up GPU supplies, depriving regular consumers of a chance to buy them. Still, NVIDIA expects the increased GPU manufacturing will help drive down the costs. We believe bringing down the pricing really just takes providing a reasonable amount of supply in the market versus the lean amounts that we have today, Cress said in December. Rival AMD also expects its own GPU supplies to improve in this year's second half. GPU supplies have gotten better, but pricing can still stink. In the US, you can now find some AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards that will actually be in stock for hours to several days at retailers, including Amazon and Newegg. If you gave up on buying a PC graphics card because of bots and the chip shortage, there's some good news. In recent weeks, the supplies for both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs have gotten substantially better, making them easier to buy in the United States. No, you probably won't find your ideal GPU on the first try nor will you see the best prices. However, many graphics cards are remaining in stock for hours over online retailers, including Newegg and Amazon. That's a huge change from a year ago when the products consistently sold out in seconds. The better supplies become apparent if you use an online restock tracking service, which will monitor when the products are back on sale at retail pricing. Over the last week, we've seen NVIDIA's RTX 3050, 3060, 3060 Ti and 3070 Ti units remain available on Newegg for hours, enough time for an average consumer to nab one. Examples of graphic cards that we found in stock on Newegg, although the pricing is still pretty meh. The same has been true for AMD's GPUs. In addition, the graphics cards we found in stock were sold by the retailer itself, not some third-party merchant with an unknown record on honoring refunds. One GPU restock tracking service, Falcadrin Stock Alerts, said it began noticing the improved supplies about three weeks ago. Yeah, it's getting way easier. You can actually buy any tier of card from an authorized reseller same day, the service said. That's especially true for the pricier graphics card models from third-party vendors such as Asus, Gigabyte and MSI. The most expensive of each tier are just staying in stock. Lower priced ones are selling out between 10 minutes to a few hours, Falcadrin added. Examples of pricier RTX 3070 Ti models, they've been in stock. In contrast, the RT 3070, its starting price is supposed to be $599. A separate GPU restock tracking service, Fixit Fixit Fixit, agrees that the supplies have gotten better over the past month. Yes, things are definitely becoming more available. There will likely still be issues with new next-gen products, but the older RTX 3000 series of cards are no longer as difficult to get, the service said. Less demand for GPUs amid bad pricing. The better supply occurs as pricing on eBay for PC graphics cards has also fallen. For example, eBay's TerraPeak tool shows that the average selling for NVIDIA's RT 3070 has decreased to $768 as of today, down from around $1,100 back in December. The average selling price for the RTX 3080 has experienced a similar decline. The average selling price for the RTX 3080 on eBay over the last year. This suggests the massive demand for GPUs may have finally lessened, for now at least, resulting in better supplies. But it's also possible pricing is playing a factor in steering consumers away from the products. 
I think everyone willing to pay slightly more has been satisfied at this point and is bowling, Falkadrin said, while adding, the problem now is that the only people still hunting are really picky on price. Indeed, price inflation began hitting GPUs last year due to the chip shortage and the soaring demand. So many of the products in stock today cost $100 to $200 and more compared to their original starting price, making the GPUs far more expensive than what consumers would be willing to pay. For example, one gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti that was in stock today at Newegg was going for $609, which is substantially higher than the $399 starting price for the 3060 Ti series. An exception to the price increases has been the Founders Edition RTX 3000 cards Nvidia has been selling over Best Buy. These products have been consistently offered at the original starting price before the price inflation set in, making them some of the most bang for your buck GPUs in the market. But on the downside, they've been incredibly hard to buy. I still see evidence of a consumer sentiment that the prices are still a bit too high as there is a lot of people waiting for the cheaper Founders Edition cards rather than buying the more available, more expensive stock today. Fix it, fix it, fix it, add it. Next gen is right around the corner. The better supplies also occur as AMD and Nvidia have said that they've made progress in boosting their GPU manufacturing. According to both companies, the supplies should significantly improve in this year's second half. However, the other factor looming over the GPU sales is how next-generation graphics cards from Nvidia and AMD are expected to launch around September. As a result, some consumers may have decided to hold off from buying, leading to better supplies. According to Fix It Fix It Fix It, these users threw their hands in the air after struggling to obtain the current generation of graphics cards. I wouldn't be holding my breath for RTX 4000 series though, added Falkadrin, who predicts that the pricing for the next generation GPUs will be insanely high. In the meantime, retailers have been spotted slashing prices on some current generation GPUs, according to another restock tracker on Twitter, at Cameron Ritz. This is likely because the products are so expensive, the retailers are having trouble selling them. For example, Newegg has been discounting a Gigabyte RTX 3080 Ti card and an AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT, although the pricing is still sky high at well over $1200. Best Buy has been doing the same for at least a few products. Whether it's better to buy now or wait is anyone's guess, but if you're interested in obtaining a graphics card as soon as possible, we'd recommend you follow a GPU restock tracking service by checking out their Twitter, Discord or YouTube pages. You can also visit the Build a PC Sales page on Reddit for a list of some of the latest restocks. That was all from this video, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more interesting information and reviews about as much tech stuff as we can find to help you out.